first and foremost, it's um, an easy to use an interactive educational website. It's not simply a data dump of information, and it's not a canned uh, activity where the outcome is always predetermined. It's one in which the student, while they're interacting, um, gets a different answer depending on the way they go through the, go through the activity. When I talk to other teachers about EdHeads, um, I tell them, you know, it's a free site. It's easy to navigate for a teacher and student. Uh, there's also a teacher guide. There are um, assessments at the end of most of the activities, which is uh, quite important because a lot of students sometimes um, need a little bit of a focus um, when going through activities, so there is an assessment tool at the end. High school students, it's absolutely great. Middle school students, it's absolutely great. And I even have young children at home that like to be on the website and um, do some of the, the middle school activities that are even adapted for, for younger children. It's a safe place for kids to go to learn science, to learn engineering, to get interested in the things that we all hope that they're you know, moving towards in their education and in their eventual careers. It's nice to have a safe, fun, and free website. As a teacher, it's really important that EdHeads remains uh, free of charge, especially with uh, budget restrictions these days, and hopefully it can remain that way uh, for quite some time. What I would pitch to the donor is the idea that EdHeads is actually a very flexible uh, type of tool that they can use to reach into their market. Um, if, if they can think creatively about how they want to market their, their corporation or a particular aspect of their enterprise, EdHeads is a very creative way of doing that and they might think uh, in, in different ways about how they're going to reach their customers uh, or people that they're trying to influence. So it, it's a more interactive way uh, that they can do that and I think that's, it's one that for uh, in terms of an advertising budget, if, if you could compare it to that, it could be very cost effective. Whether you're um, you know, a biology teacher, whether you're a physics teacher, whether you're just a general science teacher, there's enough activities um, to cover all of those bases and um, the kids love them. I would like to see Ed Heads used more often in school because um, like, there are some kids out there who would not um, get into learning very much, but just getting the entertainment value in can um, help them learn. In terms of people using the activity after its first launch, the, the numbers actually skyrocket because uh, kids are very, very effective at uh, disseminating information. With cell phone, uh, we, we launched at a very um, calm time right after the school year. So kids weren't talking about it at school, but we still ended up with uh, a couple hundred thousand hits in the month of June. Uh, right after we launched. Thank you for visiting EdHeads. Feel free to click on the link below to see how you can be a part of our organization and fund future activities.